Hi everyone, welcome to XS Prescriptor. Today we are going to learn about quadriceps muscle. This is a group of four muscles presented over the front portion of the thigh. So this muscle called quadriceps. Now we'll understand each muscle naming why the muscle called rectus femoris. Rectus means straight, rectus means straight and running vertically present over the femoral region. So this muscle called rectus femoris. Vastus lateralis, vast, vast mean greater or big. Lateralis mean this muscle situated on the lateral aspect of the thigh. So this muscle called vastus lateralis and the similarly this muscle situated in the medial portion of the thigh, so called vastus medialis. Vastus intermediates situated between the lateralis and medialis. So this muscle called vastus intermediates. Now we will understand the attachment of quadriceps muscle. All four muscles distally attaching over the tibial tuberosity via patella and patella tendon. Very simple. Proximal attachment is vary between each muscle. First I will explain the rectus femoris. Rectus femoris is the only muscle, is two joint muscle in all four muscle so rectus femoris is since two joint muscle it's cross and attaching above the hip joint anterior inferior iliac spine of the hip joint just above the acetabular brim and all other three muscles vastus lateralis medialis and intermediaris simply it attaching over the femur that's enough next we'll move into function of the quadriceps muscle i always categorized standard mover action and reverse mover action standard mover action is nothing but insertion move towards origin that is called standard mover action origin move towards insertion that is called reverse mover action here insertion is the distal attachment and origin is the proximal attachment standard mover action distal attachment is moving origin is fixed the muscle fibers are pulled in this way. Look at this example. This is a quadriceps muscle attaching over the attaching over the tibial tuberosity. Tibial tuberosity. So if the muscle fibers contact, it pulls in this way. It helps to extend the knee joint. It helps to extend the knee joint. Now the reverse mover action. If origin move towards insertion, insertion is fixed. If pull the muscle fiber pull in this way, it helps to extend the thigh at the knee joint. Don't confuse, this is frequent action we used in sit to stand or squat. During squat or sit to stand, our distal attachment is fixed, not tibial attachment is not moving, right? Our thigh is moving towards the insel attachment, the proximal attachment is moving towards the distal attachment. So very simple, standard mover action is extending the knee joint, reverse mover action is extending the thigh at the knee joint it is called squat or sit to stand as i said before rectus femoris is the only two joint muscle it crossing also the hip joint we already look into the knee joint function of the rectus femoris hip joint function of the rectus femoris is if proximal attachment is fixed origin is fixed insertion move towards origin the fibers are pulled in this way in this way it helps to it helps to flex the hip joint if insertion is fixed, origin is moved towards insertion, it attaching over the anterior inferior iliac spine, it pulls in a downward manner, downward mode, so it creates the anterior pelvic tilt. So I'm going to summarize the quadriceps function. All quadriceps muscle together helps to extend the knee joint and extend the thigh at the knee joint. And also rectus femoris helps in hip flexion and anterior pelvic tilt. Because of the difference in leverage, rectus femoris is more powerful in the knee joint than hip joint. Isometric stabilization function of the quadriceps helps to stabilize the tibiofemoral and patellofemoral joint. Rectus femoris also helps to stabilize the hip joint. Key features of the quadriceps muscle. Some resource state that vastus medialis muscle proximal part called vastus medialis longus and distal part called vastus medialis oblique because of this fiber orientation direction. Vastus medialis oblique also helps in locking of the knee joint and one more information important information vastus medialis pulls the patella medially vastus lateralis pulls the patella laterally counterbalancing of these two muscles plays major role in patellar tracking and alignment of the patella in the right position clinical correlation of the quadriceps muscle this is one of the first muscle to go wasting within one or two days if you are bedridden or any post-surgical situation at the knee joint 
the fasting of the cordyceps muscle plays important role in anterior knee pain second one common dysfunction of the patellofemoral joint is often patella tracking laterally this is caused by weak vmo vastus medialis oblique muscle during the rehabilitation strengthening the vastus medialis oblique muscle helps to balancing this issue third point make more interesting it band syndrome often misdiagnosed by clinician because vastus lateral is one of the largest muscle among this quadriceps femoris group this muscle present is next to the it band tightness in the vastus lateralis muscle often misdiagnosed by it band syndrome before ending this video quadriceps muscle also called secondary lung of the body if you know the answer comment below don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel happy learning see you in the next video